How's it feel? What's that? <laughs> Be on the other side of a wanted poster. In the last Fast and Furious, it was the first time where our audience started to look at Brian and analyze Brian. Hey, man, really, are you a good guy or a bad guy? And in this film, he very much has to learn how to be a criminal and learn how to run on this opposite side of the law. And that dynamic is exciting because you've never seen Dom and Brian on the same side. You don't have a place to hide. Who's hiding? The best cops make phenomenal criminals, so I think Brian's finally where he should have always been. Kind of like old times, maybe? Yeah, like old times. Okay, let's see what we can do here. With Brian and Dom, there's a certain energy about it. There's definitely like a chemistry. What is great about Paul and Ben is that you really get a sense of respect and yet at the same time competitiveness with each other. Not this time, Dom! It's the East meets West Coast, and I grew up living the stereotypical Southern California life. He grew up being a little bit of a hood in New York City, so two different worlds just, boom, coming together. We're intense in different ways, so I can be really, really, really intense, and Paul is usually there to lighten us up. <laughs> I feel like Paul, he's just much more instinctual. He'll just get in the moment, get you what you need, and then you call cut, and he's like, cut. back to being Paul. <laughs> I think it's that pull and push between the two that always makes us, as viewers, interested to see what's going to happen next. If you're going to survive, stop thinking like a cop. You're in my world now. I know the action in the fifth one is bigger than the last two combined. Yeah! It's the best way to express who these characters are by putting them in action. I love doing all the action. Oh, that was a great recovery. Like Spider-Man. I usually do all the fight stuff. In this one, I'm hopping over walls. I'm doing dive rolls. The chase scene, the whole sequence, nothing is structurally sound. It's on a 30 degree incline. It's every problem that you can imagine. Hang in there, Mike, coming up. To keep someone safe, you're against it. Oh. <laughs> Superman couldn't have done it better. We were just gonna have stunt people do it. But I've done five pictures now with Paul. That's it, that's it. So I know Paul really well, and he's just, hey, look, whatever you wanna do, I'll, I'll do. I got there and I saw this, like, this massive, like, 20 foot jump. And I was like, how are we going to do that? You got it. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> but Paul's such a pro at this, and he's done it so many times that I think God was holding his hand, so that made it pretty easy. Action! That's awesome! I come from a world where, you know, I'm, I'm a weekend racer. These fields are, like, real torky. I mean, you have a lot of the you know, I grew up, you know, fighting, doing martial arts and boxing and all that. Yeah, get up! So I want things to be accurate and things to be on point. So neutral, Bam. neutral, yeah. bah, and then drive and go. And with Paul, to have an actor that has that precious relationship with the character, that's what you want to do. OK. All right, clear the roof. Here we go. And he's really generous as an actor. Because we have so many scenes where we're close and when we're, you know, playing a couple, it's very, very intimate. And I was like, can you imagine if we hated each other, like how awkward this would be? But um, because it's been so long, and because we do genuinely like each other, there's just an ease about it. She's smart, she's funny. And that makes it easy for me. I mean, it, I mean, she's been my girlfriend basically for 10 years. I think if Brian and Mia, if they don't work, the movie doesn't work. And the fifth one, they are the heart of the story. Look how lucky we just got. What happens next time? We have no choice but to split I'm up. Pregnant. When you think of Fast and Furious movies, you don't think of pregnancy. But again, that's part of what I think is exciting, to be able to take these characters and acknowledge their age, their maturity, and where they are in life. This is the happiest I've ever seen my sister. It's because we're free. 
It's kind of cool to take the character that you've been so familiar with, that you've seen grow up on cinema, and go, now you're a dad. How will you deal with that? And it's even cooler for the film to ask that question. How do you be a good dad? How will I know I'll be a good dad? And I love that because it gives him a really nice arc. And I think a lot of the audience, they're going to be able to relate to Brian's journey. Brian's okay with being on the run and being a criminal because for the first time, I think, in his life, he's just, he's living right. He's no longer lying. He's being true to himself. You got Brian, you got Dom, you got Mia. And uh, at the end of the day, we're all going to go out together if we're going to go out.